so guys in this video you will learn what is the command design pattern so let's begin So guys, my name is Rakesh Malviya and before I start my today's session, I would like to tell that I have made around 100 plus videos on the Oracle SQL. And if you want to learn the Oracle SQL in detail, then please don't forget to check out my description box. In that, I have given link for the same. Also, I would like to tell that I have made several videos on the design pattern, just like the singleton design pattern, factory design pattern, facade design pattern, observer design pattern, and so many design patterns I have covered. And the link for the same also I have given in the description box. Okay, so let's begin with the out today session. So guys, what is command design pattern? Command design pattern is nothing but in which we wrap our request in an object as a command and we will pass to the invoker object and invoker object will look for the appropriate object who can handle it and execute so that is nothing but your command design pattern so guys over here you can question that boss this is very common and typical bookish definition can you explain in the simple language what exactly we need to do in the command design pattern so let me tell so guys whenever we have a such a kind of requirement in which we need to implement command type of algorithm or command type of program then we have to go with the command design pattern okay so this is the first thing you have to take care now for the each command you have to implement the classes okay let's say for example if you are writing something into the database and if you are deleting something from the database and you are doing the undo and redo as well so how many classes will be created over here db deleter and db writer okay so for each command you have to implement the classes and after that what do you need to do you need to create one invoker class which will execute all these commands okay so this is the thing you have to take care and this is how you can implement the command design pattern now let's have a look on the typical definition of the command design pattern So guys, I hope you have understood the what exactly the command design pattern is. Now let's have a look on the advantage of the command design pattern. Now let's have a look on the disadvantage of the command design pattern. Now let's have a look on the class diagram of the command design pattern. Now let's have a look on the when to use the command design pattern. So guys, I hope you have understood what exactly the command design pattern, what is the advantage of the command design pattern and disadvantage and when to use and all stuff you know. Okay, now let's discuss what example which we are going to discuss over here or I can say that for which example which we are going to make the program. So guys, I'm taking one example. Just right now I have discussed uh, I'm going to implement two commands which is nothing but your db deleter and db writer in which we write something into the database and we delete something from the database okay and we will do the implementation of the undo and redo as well so that is the example which we are going to discuss in this session so let's begin so guys let's see the practical example of the command design pattern over here first we will understand our program in the form of diagram and then later on actually we will jump onto the program okay so let's begin 
So guys, as already discussed, I will implement two commands called the DB writer and DB deleter, which will write into the database and which will delete into the database. Okay, so this is the two operation or two commands I'm going to implement in my program. So let's see how I can write the program for the same. So guys, as you can see on the your screen, this is how I am going to write the program. Okay. So inside that, what I will do, I will create one interface called the I command and inside that I will have three functions called the execute, undo and redo and all these three functions are pure virtual function means this has to be implemented in the concrete class and these are the concrete class you can see over here db writer and db deleter are concrete classes okay after that what i will do i will create one database class and inside that i will have two functions called the db writer and db deleter okay and after that what i will do i will create one more class called the db operation invoker and inside that i will have one function called the submit okay and using the submit function only i will call the db writer or db deleter function or operation okay that how we can do we can see in the program okay that i will explain in a program after that what i will do i will write one function called the main function which is nothing but your our client code okay you can assume that inside that what i will do i will create object of this class okay and after that what i will do i will create object of db writer or db deleter and i will pass the object of this one i will create the object of this and this one and i will pass the object of this one okay so this is what i will do after that what i will do i will create object of db operation invoker this object okay and i will call the submit function this function and what i will do i will pass the object of this one or this one okay so this is what i will do in the main function and this is how i am going to write the program for the command design pattern i hope you have understood now let's go for the program in that we will actually see the code how you can write the code for the command design pattern so guys i have already written the program for the command design pattern i will just explain over here what exactly i have written okay so let's see the program of the command design pattern you can see over here this is the program of the command design pattern now let's understand one by one all the lines okay so as you can see on the your screen uh, this is the my first class which is nothing but your database class inside that i will have two functions called the db writer and db deleter okay inside this you can have anything any logic okay any whatever you logic you want to write over here you can write it over here okay now after that what i will do i will create one interface called the i command and inside that what i will have three pure virtual function which is nothing but your execute undo and redo execute will do actual operation what exactly command is and it will do the reverse and it will again do the reverse of undo okay so this is the thing you have to take care and this is what you need to do in the uh, interface okay after that what i will do i will uh, have two concrete class you can see over here db writer and db deleter okay and inside this you can see over here db writer you can see over here i am passing the database object okay and same thing i am assigning to this object which is nothing but this one okay and inside the execute function i will call the db writer you can see over here db writer will we actually do the operation means i am doing the writing operation okay in a similar fashion i have done the implementation of the undo function which will do the reverse of the execute you can see over here writing reverse is nothing but your deletion of the data okay so this is the thing you have to take care and this is what i have implemented and redo will do the reverse of the undo and what is the reverse of the undo which is nothing but your you can see over here executing or writing the data into the database and execute command will do the same thing you can see over here writing the same thing okay so this is how i'm going to implement the class of the db writer okay in a similar fashion you have to implement the db deleter you can see over here execute undo and redo okay so 
I do not need to explain this same and uh, same again and again. Okay, you are pretty uh, intelligent, so I am uh, leaving for the you. Okay, so now moving on to the next, uh, which is nothing but your DB invoker. Okay, DB invoker. You can see over here in this class. Uh, I have implemented the submit function and inside the submit function uh, I am calling the execute function you can see over here and over here I am passing the object of uh, command or I can say the object of this one or let me show you another concrete class this one you can see and this is nothing but your interface whatever I am passing over here you can see over here this is nothing but your interface okay which will receive any object uh, of this type or this type okay so this is you have to take care and this is what the thing i would like to tell over here and using that object i am calling the execute function okay moving on to the next section which is nothing but your main function inside that as i already discussed i will create the object of database class i will create object of db writer db deleter and inside that i will pass the object of database class and after that what i will do i will create the object of the db operation invoker okay and using this object i will call the submit function and inside that i will pass the db writer or db deleter object and uh, whenever i will pass this one or this one it will perform the corresponding task so let's say for example i have call the submit function using the db writer so what it will do it will go over here over here it will go and it will uh, call the execute function using this okay db writer so what exactly it will do it will go to the db writer over here correct over here and it will perform this operation and using the database operation it will call the db writer function which is nothing but your this function so whatever the logic i have written over here that will get executed over here so this is how you can implement the uh, command design pattern okay and in a similar fashion i can execute the delete uh, delete operation as well okay and the beauty of uh, the command design pattern you can see over here using the same function submit function i am performing the two operation db deleter and db writer two for operation using the same you can see over here if i will pass over here db deleter object then what it will do it will go over here and it will call this execute function using the this object and this will be get called over here correct and if this will be get called then this function will be get called using the database object uh, uh, object and after that what i will do i will call this one and which is nothing but your delete operation so you can see over here delete delete operation so you can see over here beauty of the design uh, command design pattern is using the same function i am calling two operation or i am performing the two operation so this is all about the command design pattern and this is the key point of the command design pattern in, in, in a similar way you can implement the other commands as well over here and very easily you can implement over here okay guys so this is the thing and this is how you can make the program for the command design pattern now let me run this program and let me show you the output but before that i have to compile this program so guys this is how you can compile the program of the c plus plus and let me compile over here and the executable got created you can see over here this is the executable got created okay and let me run over here so you can see over here two operation got performed writing the database and deleting the database okay in a similar fashion you can call the undo and redo function as well okay guys so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the command design pattern is and if you have any feedback or if i'm missing something then please don't forget to mention that in the comment box and don't forget to share this video in the any social media platform and thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care